Hey there everyone, this is Lyndon from HTC One Soft Modder, and today I'd like to show you how to use the HTC logo as a power button. To do this you'll be using a custom kernel and if you don't know what a, a kernel is, a kernel is what the operating system uses to talk to the actual hardware of the device. It's basically like a driver if you've ever used Windows. So to download the kernel you'll have to go to XDA and you can find the link in the full tutorial and you'll want to place the zip file on your internal memory on the internal storage. Once you've done that you'll want to power off the device and we'll have to go into recovery mode to install it. So to enter recovery mode you'll have to power on into the bootloader so press volume down and the power button at once and you'll see the bootloader and then to get into recovery you press volume down once and then press power button okay now that we're in recovery mode we can install the kernel the first thing you want to do is run a backup because kernels can cause a, a lot of issues with the operating system and this one was developed only on the international HTC one so it may or may not work with your device your mileage may vary I am using a, H a uh, AT&T HTC one and I have tested it and it does work I have not tested it on any other devices and it will not work with CDMA HTC ones like the Verizon and Sprint model. So tap on backup to create a backup. You'll want to check off all the boxes, boot, cache, data, recovery, and system. And then just swipe to back them up. And once that's done, just tap on the home button. And then you're ready to install the kernel. So tap install scroll to where you placed it I recommend the root of the S the uh, internal storage just because it's easier to find I have it down here in the bottom the team 7 sense kernel 4.0.0 stable dot zip and then you'll see the installation screen swipe to confirm the flash and it will start the aroma installer now the aroma installer can be a little bit buggy, so make sure you go really slowly through the setup. So there's the welcome screen, tap next. There's a change log, so you can see what has been changed in the versions. Just a quick requirement uh, layout. You will have to have an unlocked bootloader and custom recover, ob recovery, obviously. And next is the mapping screen. This is where you can choose your options for your uh, button mapping. You can see home to wake and logo to menu. That just means that the logo, but the HTC logo will be a, uh, turned into a menu button like uh, other Android devices that have menu buttons. And the home button will wake the phone. But there are various other options here. I personally like the logo to wake and logo to menu and logo to sleep long tap. What that means is that the logo will wake the device, it will turn the device off or sleep, to make the device sleep just like the power button and then if you tap it once it will become a menu button. So I'm just gonna select that one. In the next screen you'll see additional mods. Here you can select uh, to remove the three dot menus if you're using the single tap menu function like I just selected so you want to check that otherwise you'll see the three dots uh, at the bottom of the screen in certain apps and you won't need that anymore because you can use the HTC logo as a menu button also there's a option for blinking buttons for notifications what this does is it blinks the home and back button 
when you receive a notification if the screen is off and the charger is not connected. So it functions as an additional notification instead of the uh, LED up top. So when you're done, tap next and next. And it will start installing. A quick note, if you ever want to go back to the stock kernel, in the mapping page just tap on stock and then install it again. That will remove any custom settings. So it's finished, just tap next. And you'll see the completed screen, just tap finish. And tap yes to reboot. And I'll be back in a second once the phone is powered on. Okay, now that the phone has been powered on, you can see I'm in the lock screen. And I'm going to just place my finger on the HTC logo and it should turn the screen off. So there it turned off. And if you want to turn it back on again, you just hold your finger over the logo. It's kind of hard to do on a, on a desk. There it goes. And that turns the screen on. Let me unlock it really quick. And instead of holding the power button, you can just use the logo to turn it on and device and turn it off. Now the menu mod, instead of having to press the three dots up there, you could just tap the logo like that and it will automatically bring up the menu button. It's just a convenience rather than having to reach all the way up there. So I hope you enjoyed this guide. Uh, please feel free to like or comment on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out the full tutorial available on Nexus One or excuse me, HTC One Soft Modder. Thanks for watching.